show about jump, score, and punch. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now at the National Speed Skating Oval for the 2025 World Humanoid Robot Games. The three-day event features 26 competitions, from sprinting, standing long jump, and floor exercise, to dance, soccer, and martial arts. It's not just about technological competition, it's a showcase of the limitless potential of intelligent robots in the society of the future. Audience members can even challenge robots in table tennis or basketball, a thrilling way to experience the capabilities of AI firsthand. One of the most hotly events of the games is the soccer tournament, in which teams from Brazil, Germany, in Netherlands and more will compete for victory. These teams have arrived early to hit the training field for warm-ups and preliminary matches. For us, we hope we will score in the preliminaries and we will manage to succeed so that we can take part in the quarterfinals. But we see the field is tough. We uh, enjoyed to see how the other teams put a lot of effort in their work and they were successful. And I hope it will work fine out for us as well. At the Robot World Cup in Brazil, we exchanged tactics and debugging expertise with many international teams, particularly Germany. We look forward to further mutual learning and improvement during the competition. It's my first time working with uh, this type of robots. It's amazing because we we came from Brazil, like in the other side of the world, and uh, we are participating and we can talk with, uh, with other teams from around the world. It's, a, it's an amazing experience. This tournament introduces a groundbreaking five-set format alongside three-set matches, with all gameplay being fully autonomous showcasing remarkable advances in multiple robot coordination and real-time decision-making. Behind me, the final side final has just wrapped up. The German joint team HTWK and Now Demos versus Tsinghua Hefeitis. After a stellar performance, the team Tsinghua Hefeitis came on top. Congratulations! Just days ago, we couldn't even score against Germany. But tonight, after all those late night training sessions, we finally cracked their defense and held firm against every attack. This victory proves that dedication really pays off. Like until the last second, it was, okay, now our robot has a chance and might win the goal. But at the end, it was not enough and it's okay. Tsinghua was was better and yeah. they deserve they deserve to win and I think we see each other next year here in Peking. These three matches showcase more than just technological advancements. They represent a pivotal milestone in humanoid robotics. When robots can team up and think on their feet like we do, just imagine how soon they will be part of our everyday lives. Watching robots push boundaries makes me wonder. Could human robot hybrid competition be the future of sports? Drop your thoughts down below. Bye bye!